All right, well, today we're going to be working on this beauty. It is a 1957 DeSoto Fire Sweep wagon. I know what you're thinking, but that's not a wagon. Well, I know. Somebody made her a little on the custom side. They turned it into an El Camino. Pretty neat old rig. One in my collection that doesn't get to come out very often. So, it needs a little bit of love. But, you may be saying, huh, those are Buick wheels. Yes, they are. And it's got side pipes. Well, the other thing you don't know is this little secret under the hood, too. Let's see if I can get her open. Come on. There we go. Huh, that's not Mopar. No, it's not. That is a 1973 Pontiac 400. It's got a turbo 400 behind it. The other thing is, the rest of this car underneath is Pontiac. Best I can say is it's got, oh, probably it's 1972, 1973 Pontiac running gear, so... It's got power brakes, it's got disc brakes, it's got a 10 bolt rear end. It actually drives down the road pretty good, and hey, it's even got power steering. Wouldn't have had that in 57. But, she's a pretty cool rig, definitely a hot rod. Came out of California, from what I was told, and that's where I got it, it was down in Redding. Take a look at this sweet interior, too. Oh, yeah. Isn't that just cool? It's got the Pontiac steering wheel with DeSoto on it. It's got the original DeSoto dash and the speedometer works, which is pretty cool. It's the one where the big orange line goes up as you go faster. Yeah, this thing had trailer brakes too. It is definitely goofy. But it's definitely fun to drive, too. But here's what we're going to be working on. This roof is toast. It is not good whatsoever. It's just a little, uh, oh, yeah, weight reduction. So, luckily, when I bought the car, I got another roof with it. So, this is a four-door post hardtop. We're going to zip some metal out of the center, shorten it up, and then it's going to be more like a coupe. It'll be more like a flower car than anything. So, no, this was not a flower car. This was a wagon that somebody turned into a pickup. If you look, you can see where it was a four-door. They welded the doors shut. And uh, the reason all this Bondos broke up here, where they molded it all together, which they did a fairly good job, but they used to have a toolbox up here. And then it had like a hard tonneau cover that covered over the back too. The tailgate's still functional, which is pretty cool. Open this up. And she lays right down. A little bit of cargo room for when you're going to town. I got a tail light for it too. I'll put that in. Because this one looks like it got hot. But. It's pretty neat. I got to get to cutting this roof off soon. We'll make her cool. They had this vinyl type roof. Over the whole deal. And it sweat. And then it would get moisture. And it would trap it underneath. And it just rotted the whole top. So, I don't know what they used for a back window or for a bulkhead or what, but they did an okay job. It was definitely built in the 70s, I'd say, but it's pretty neat. It'll be a cool rig. This will be a keeper. Just so unique. 
Well, since we're already here, I might as well fire it up too. Get her moved forward, because she's that's where she's got to go. Runs like a champ. All right. All right, that's close enough. I'll let you hear that beautiful exhaust too, because I know you want to. Oh yeah, those side pipes. Beautiful exhaust leak too to go with it. God, you can't have that. Or maybe you can. Oh, it's a pretty neat machine. Should be fun putting this top on, bring you guys with me. So, all right, here we go. I'm starting to get the interior tour out of this thing, and you can see just how bad it was. Just, uh, yeah, that's daylight. So, uh, yeah. It definitely needed a new roof. Oh, a mouse house. Lovely. It looked like he had a good um, <laughs> uh, roof scoop like they have on those race cars. Air he ate his house, I guess. Ugh. Well, here's the inside. It's mostly torn apart and all the trim taken off. So, looks like she was white at one point. But, yeah, this roof was um, not good. Not good at best, but hey, it had a CB. Well, back in the day, this would have been the hottest car on the town, I'm sure. Or whatever you want to think. It is pretty neat. But yeah, it's um, compromised. You can... Ugh. That's bad. Luckily, she's getting cut off soon. Well, this is about how far I've gotten on the DeSoto. You can see the roof is just... It's toast. It's bad. It needed replaced very, very badly. This trim has just been a pain in my side. All the upper trim just kind of ripped off, but... We're getting there. The roof will be off soon, I hope. This screw up here, I just... I just don't know how you're supposed to get that one. And she's in there pretty good. So, I'll try some more. And this one is definitely toast. So, yeah, well, hopefully we'll be putting a new interior in it too. Or at least doing something with these because <laughs> I, uh, I don't like that. But it's all right. I mean, if it wasn't faded, it would probably look pretty good. But, you know. Oh, well, that shot's good still. Yeah, it's just not good. I've been doing a little bit of more fiddling with the old D200, so that's why I haven't been doing this too much. So when I first brought this car back, it had a miss and sounded like it had an exhaust leak and stuff. And We did a compression test and I pulled the plugs and this is what we got. 55 psi on number four 90 on number six and they're just kind of all over the board and i got other stuff to work on and need the room right now so i'm gonna leak down test this and see if it's the valves or the piston or whatever it is and then we'll get it out of the way so we can get the other stuff in well the leak down test pretty well said that uh cylinder number two and number, or the second one back, and the third one back, so four and six. Both have low compression, and it sounds like it's the rings. You can hear the air coming up through the push rods, and not the valves. So, this winter, probably, the engine will come out, and we'll rebuild it, and maybe put a cam in it, but... That's going to be it for now. As you can see, the, I didn't get as far as I liked on the roof. But I've got other projects that command more of my time. So this has to be put on the back burner. But that's okay. We'll get her running and run it back up to the museum. I 
I've been thinking about it, and I was going to move this car back up to storage, but I think for now it's just going to stay here. But I wanted to wrap up this video just so I could get it out there and show you guys that wanted to see this thing. She's a pretty unique ride, but I'll get it back up into dry storage in the next couple of days before I head out for North Dakota. But for now, we'll just wrap it up and there will be more on this car later because I, I really like it and it's kind of fun. So here it is, that 57 DeSoto. It's hopefully going to get paint this winter. I would really like to go to like the the black with the uh the gold color in where the stripe is down in there that's my favorite color scheme on the DeSotos but uh if anybody watches this let me know let me know what you think what I should do or what we should do with this thing I just want to cruise it because it's a it's a fun cool car so yeah let me know what you think and uh thanks for watching